All right, guys. What is going on? We're back. We're back for some more making gains, and we're still making gains. But what I will tell you is that I have been without any equipment to make any videos or edit any videos for like the last three or four weeks. So that last video that you would have seen was me sitting here uh, looking through all my bills, telling you guys what I'd bought lately, what I'd had to spend my money on to do with my properties and things like that. That was probably about a month ago, to be honest, and that was the final piece of footage that I actually had um, on me to make a video from. So since then, I haven't been using the camera a lot. I've probably got enough footage for probably about three or four videos between that date and today's date, which is the 20th of February. And obviously, I'll be vlogging from today onwards, and you'll be seeing those videos and that footage as it comes out. But for now, um, I just wanted to give you guys just a quick intro before I do jump into this uh, next Making Gains episode. Today is the 20th of February, like I said. This next clip that you're going to see was probably about a month ago now. So we're talking about the 20th of January. And um, I think, I'm pretty sure from memory I go through some stuff that I got in the mail. Uh, some, of the, some of the things that I ordered in the last video that you saw that I spent all that money on. So with that being said, I'd like to call it a day here. I do have some new equipment. I've got a new computer. I've got a new camera. It's all go. I'm really happy. I'll show you guys that equipment in due time. But for now, enjoy the video. I'm feeling really fucking positive. I want to crack back into making these videos. I've, I've sort of felt a little bit lost uh, not, not having something to, to edit or something to create. You know, I've, I've kind of lost my mojo a little bit, but I hope that, you know, busting the camera out this morning will be the start of some more uh, videos to come. So that's it. I'll see you guys when I see you. But for now, enjoy the next video and thanks for watching. Peace. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. All right, everybody, what is going on? We're back for another episode of Making Gains. I don't know what the day is, but uh, I've just finished a 12-hour shift. It's about quarter past seven. I've just got home, jumped in the shower, and now I'm getting ready to hit the gym, as per usual. But my first package from that weekend, or that day that I went absolutely crazy online, has arrived. And believe it or not, guys, it's the gym steeds order. And I'm so fucking surprised, and I'm really disappointed to be honest, because it's been... I ordered all that shit on Friday night, nearly two weeks ago, and today is Wednesday. And so, in two days time, it will have been two weeks, and I haven't even... I haven't received shit from the Adidas store, the Nike store, the Culture Kings order was fucking cancelled, which I'm so pissed about. But then I went on to another online fucking streetwear retailer and, and ordered some more stuff, but... Um, that sucks. So I'm waiting for Adidas, I'm waiting for Nike, I'm waiting for uh, Golden Aesthetics, which is America, and another brand which I bought the clothing from, which is from the UK. So here we go. And it's a fucking perfect timing because I need a singlet to go to the gym. I've got black shorts. I've got, I've got far too, too much black shit. Black shoes, black socks, black shorts, black track pants, black t-shirts. I need some like, I need some light tank tops for the gym and also for you know general day-to-day -day life and that's exactly why I went to gym seas. I know the fit, I know the quality, I know the person behind it. I really, really support this brand. I've supported gym seas for probably about three years, uh, if not more, and I got four singlets. So we're gonna open them up. It ended up being that I ordered three tank tops and one hoodie. So first one is like an oatmeal color in XL. Uh, with the white panel on the front. We've got a black with a white panel on the front, once again an XL. I tend to go for XL in things. I've, I've found it's, it's a lot better to be slightly bigger than slightly too small because if I put something on and it's, you know, it's skin tight, it's just a horrible feeling. I hate that. I hate skin tight stuff. Um, Unless, well, the only, the only place I like it to be skin tight is around my arms. If I've got a nice, you know, torso with enough room for me to move, it's fine. But usually if it's skin tight around your arms, it's also skin tight around your body. So you can't really win. But 
we've got those two tanks. We've got my third one, which is actually my favourite. I've wanted this uh, since it came out, which is just a plain, plain white tank. It's, fun, it's funny, you know, when you do actually really like a brand and you're behind it and you respect it, all you need is a plain fucking piece of pl pe <laughs> a plain piece of clothing with something simple like that on the front. I mean, I could have a brand and and make a single like this. I mean, red and white just look sick together. So we've got black shorts on tonight. Like I said, I need something light. Uh, so we're definitely going to go with this to wear to the gym tonight because that's what we're, we're about to do is go and train. So. I'll put this one on. This one's actually in large, which I'm kind of nervous about because, like I said, I don't like things being too small, but I think large should be fine. I was just a bit worried. I went on the cautious side. So, yeah, I like that. That's pretty sick. Definitely a good fit. Wouldn't want it to be any smaller, uh, but I probably wouldn't want it to be much bigger. So, I don't know about these ones, but. Oh well, I'm just going to ha have to get bigger, aren't I? So, we've got the three tanks, and then my final purchase was this Gym Seas hoodie, which I've always liked since I saw them. Um, they're running out of stock. This was one of the last ones, and it was in my size XL, which was fantastic. It was meant to be. And so, I got it. And <laughs> obviously, around Alice Springs at the moment, it's about 40 uh, to 42 degrees every day, so I definitely won't be wearing this. Uh, at the moment, but I, I can't wait to wear it. In fact, when I go down to Melbourne, I'm definitely going to wear it. And um, it's got it's it's a plain black hoodie with Jim Steves down both arms. So I really like that design. Nice and plain, simple. That's what Jim Steves is all about. It's just got nice, good colours and just a simple, um, you know, logo or brand. And obviously, I've I've followed Friesma. It's not his real name, but yeah, I followed Friesma, who is the founder and the creator of Gym Steez, uh created it back in 2012, so we're in 2017, and I've followed him since he created it, so, you know, it's probably a good four years I've been following this brand, and, yeah, I'm a loyal customer, what can I say, I support New Zealand and Australian uh, brands and people that, you know, entre entrepreneurial people, um, people that share my vision, um, and that's sort of how I came across Friesma and Gym Steez. But with that said, uh, we've got one other thing I want to show you, which I bought today. Um, I've been eyeing these up in the shoe store. There's this like number one shoe warehouse or whatever it's called. Say, spend less shoes, I think it is. And they've got these fake, obviously, rep, like knockoff Yeezys. So I don't know what's actually missing from the original ones. I think the original might have something down there. Or maybe that's just the 350 ones. I really don't know, honestly. But these look the part, honestly. They fucking look the part, I'm so stoked. It's even got the same ribbing along the sole as what you'd expect. And um, I'm gonna put these on for the gym. So we've got the Yeezys, the $40 Yeezys. We've got the Gym Seas tank, we've got the shorts. And we're gonna go make some gains. So I'll see you guys back here, bright and early in the morning. I've got a day off, which I can't wait for. It's been a fucking long, long few days at work. But I'm in a mindset now where you know I'm I'm past it. I'm home. I'm looking forward to the gym tonight, and I'm looking forward to a nice sleep and a sleep in. And so I'm actually in a really good positive headspace right now, which is perfect for me to go to the gym. There's nothing worse than heading down to the gym with things on your mind. If you're dwelling on things, if you're um, you know negative in a negative headspace, uh, the gym is quite challenging. So, but in saying that, you know, it can be people's sort of um, way of getting through those kind of things. So, you know, I've, I've never really seen the gym as therapy, you know, how people talk about that, you know, the hardcore, uh, you know, getting through breakups and things. I've been single for like fucking <laughs> too long. Um, so I haven't had to get over any girls so, you know, I haven't used the gym for that, but all it is for me is, is to, you know, give me a bit of, bit of an escape from the rest of the world for an hour a day. It's the time when I listen to music, which is another reason I really look forward to it. Chuck my headphones on, I listen to my favourite music, which puts me in a good mood. 
and I make gains. And honestly, like I see fucking 10, 15 people that I know every single time I go down there. So it's you know it's like a social occasion too, which is it's cool. As long as I don't talk too much, I'll talk before I start training. But once I start training, it's fucking business. I'll tell you that much. So I'll see you here in the in the morning. We've got some cool stuff to to run through. I've done two whole weeks of tracking macros. Every single thing that's gone in my mouth, I've tracked it. Um, so we're going to do a weigh-in tonight, which I'll show you guys. And then tomorrow morning, I'll talk through uh, my diet and how things have been going. So. Hope you guys have enjoyed the first part of this video. We're gonna go and train. I'll see you in the morning. Peace.